Greetings everyone, Michael Walker, Digital Learning Specialist, and welcome to Summer 2014, Moodle 2.6. Um, in this video, I'm going to be giving you an orientation to the course, showing you some of the different features and things to look for, and some ideas on what you might want to work on this summer as you work through the course. Well, here is the course. Now, we are starting the course uh, today, June 9th, in Moodle 2.4, and on Wednesday, we're going to be shutting things down, so you won't have access to the course on Wednesday as we upgrade to Moodle 2.6. And there's some, several new features in Moodle 2.6 that uh, my recommendation would be that, um, obviously, if you're viewing this video, you've figured out the enrollment key summer 2014 and have entered the course so you're enrolled but I would wait till Thursday and beyond to actually start doing a lot of work because you'll find that there's the features that uh, are new to this version of Moodle won't be in place until after Wednesday. As you take a look at the course I've set up the navigation here with some no scroll tiles across the top. Um, you're basically going to start in the upper left hand corner uh, with the orientation and when you click on that either on the graphic or on the words uh, and scroll down a little bit you'll see the content for the course orientation. First thing you're going to want to do is go into the getting to know you forum and as you click on this forum you're going to come in and add a new discussion topic and share a little bit about yourself so we can kind of connect a little bit with the other uh, students who are taking the class this year and so that'll be that part. As you're navigating through the course when you come to something like this and you've completed it across the top here we have the breadcrumb trail and so if I click back on course orientation now I'm back in that topic and as I scroll down I'll see that. Um, one of the features you're going to see in here is the new what's new in Moodle 2.6 I highly recommend you do that. As you're completing things there's a little checkbox here that you can uh, check off so that you know that you've completed that part and that way um, it'll kind of allow you to see kind of where you're at in the course with the different materials. I don't intend that all of you complete every single part of this course as you go through. I think it's really important that you personalize it. There's tons of content here, well more than nine hours. Focus on the things that you're interested in learning about and go into that. So as we come back to the main part here in our um, navigation, um, if you want to start adding some resources, you can click on adding resources here and you're going to see some different methods of doing that, adding files, folders, etc. Embedding content. One of the things that I think is going to be really useful for students especially is that if content is embedded, so as opposed to uploading the file of your PowerPoint, if you can convert that to a Google Doc, get the embed code when you pu publish the file to the web, and then embed that on a page in Moodle, it'll be right there within the course. Students can access it and uh, be able to have a better experience on any device. Other things, videos and other stuff like that, how to embed those, there's some uh, resources there. And then for that unit, there's a little assignment, you know, go into your course, add or update the pages based on what you're doing and then share what you did in the course. So once you've gone into your course and made some of the changes based on adding resources here then come back and share a little bit of what you did in here. I'm not looking for pages and pages of what you did just a short paragraph indicating that is great. So you'll continue through here's adding activities so if you want to have some interactive activities with your students you can do that. If you're interested more in assessment and building some quizzes, this section is for you. Uh, there's some advanced teacher tools here. And then the one that a lot of people are kind of interested in, the additional features, things like being able to make your course no scroll. In this section, I've got some tips on that. And the first one with the one topic format, um, to be able to get your course to look something like this, where all of your topics across the top are tabs and I can get to any one of those with the click of a button and now here I am in that chapter here I'm back to chapter one if I need to look at something there all of that stuff 
is in the new features of Moodle 2.6 and as I said if you wait till after Wednesday you'll have access and you can learn how to do that in this section here and I've got a nice video that shares how that works. So uh, the final section here integrating with Google Apps has some good ideas on how you're utilizing Moodle as a learning management system and integrating some of the collaborative and creation tools of Google Apps. You can see that. And then the very last thing, the final step, is to share in a uh, Google form on two things. One, kind of your final reflection on what you did to update your courses, as well as a final evaluation of this course to kind of help us make it better. So once you've gone through and, and done all that work, um, you know, you can work through it at your own pace. We ask that you try and get done by August 1st so that we can move on to the Learning Institute and other things that are going to be happening. But uh, we look forward to learning with you at any time. If you have questions or things like that, please feel free to uh, post those questions in the comment and question forum. Just click right here and you can go in and add a new topic and get some help on what you're trying to do. So again, I look forward to learning with you and uh, have a good one. Take care.